What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is DJCS, welcome to an all new video here on my YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be going over all the information that came out for Red Dead Online today over on Rockstar on the Newswire. We have, I don't want to say a lot to talk about, but some definitely some interesting things to talk about. And if you are a Red Dead Online player, this is probably something that will make you want to drink. So, this week, the news, our event week goes as get double XP on a land of opportunities, missions, and all bounty hunter missions. Plus, increase RDO money and XP for posses. Load up and venture out to the frontiers of Red Dead Online this week to earn extra XP. Earn, earn extra XP. I can't talk. Along with special bonuses. Cheers. Help Jessica Clark and Harley in their quest for frontier justice and get rewarded with double the usual xp for all a land of opportunities missions so that's basically your contact missions your story missions that are in online that i haven't done all of yet so i should definitely get those done while it is double xp continues whether you're a merciful vigilante or a soldier of fortune who doles out lethal force mount up all bounty hunter missions in red dead online are dishing out double xp this week Allying yourself with a couple of friendlies uh, as backup might help apprehend bounties and playing in a posse will dish out increased RDO money and XP to all posse members for free roam and bounty missions as well as free roam events. Uh, it continues with our discounts. There are plenty of ways to save hard earned coin throughout the Wheeler, Rawson and Company catalog and other purveyors this week, including 40% off all outfits, including roll outfits, 30% off all repeaters, all pistols in the Schofield revolver, and then 30% off all horses, as well as 30% off all saddles and improved saddles. We also have 30% off all coats and vests. Now, Prime Gaming is basically the same, except for down here where it says uh, play or connect to Prime Gaming before December 21st and receive a reward for a free Breton horse and a and uh, Red Dead $100. So, not great for Twitch Prime. Not great things overall. There's some decent discounts. Uh, good. Uh, I want to say decent enough XP and, and double money on the those missions and bounty hunter stuff like that. But it just seems all very lackluster. And speaking of lackluster, Rockstar also introduced that coming this next week, actually, December 1st, you can get Red Dead Online as a standalone game. What does that mean? Well, that means you can play Red Dead Online without having to get the story mode, which I think is really a disadvantage to anybody who does this because the story mode for Red Dead 2 for Red Dead Redemption 2 is amazing. If you don't know what the what goes down between Arthur and all that stuff, you definitely need to get that game and play that game because it is truly truly amazing. One of the best story story I've ever played in a game. So definitely check that out. Um, but if you're like me and you've been maybe wanting to play on a different system, now is your chance because Red Dead, Online, Red Dead Online, the vibrant, ever-evolving world where you can take on a range of unique roles and pursuits to blaze your own outlaw trail across the American frontier, will be available to purchase as a standalone game from the PlayStation Store, Microsoft Store, Rockstar Games Launcher, Epic Games Store, and Steam on December 1st. For the first time, new players who do not already own Red Dead Redemption 2 can experience everything in Red Dead Online has to offer, including access to all future content updates, um, and then it goes over all like the talk about the roles, it talks about the missions, showdowns, um, all that stuff, poker, free roam events, daily challenges, everything that most people already know about Red Dead Online, unless you don't really play it. But even if you don't play it, I'm sure you can still like kind of figure that out quickly. But then it says Red Dead Online will be available from the PlayStation Store, Microsoft Store, Rockstar Games Launcher, Epic Games Store, and Steam at an introductory offer of $4.99, which is 75% off the regular price until February 15th, 2021. So that is just two and a half months, basically, that you have to the opportunity to get this game wherever you want it, however you want it, for just $5. It says, please note that PlayStation Plus and Xbox 
It says, please note that PlayStation Plus and or Xbox Live Gold are required to play. The PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions of Red Dead Online will be playable via backward compatibility on the PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series hardware. And then it says the new standalone version of Red Dead Online will require up to 123 gigabytes of disk space and will also include the option to unlock Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode purchased separately. So, there's a little bit in there that kind of, they kind of glance over it. They're saying that it's going to be backwards compatible. Are we not going to get an enhanced version for Red for the next gen for PlayStation 5 and Xbox for Red Dead on for Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2? I mean, it would make sense to me. You're doing one for GTA? I mean, maybe not immediately, maybe like in 2021, 2020, uh, 2021. That's next year. 2022 maybe we get one, but I mean, they're kind of almost saying we're not. Which sucks because I mean don't get me, don't get me wrong the game looks beautiful even in 4k and HDR it looks beautiful but an enhanced version might be might look better especially if it was in 60 frames per second for us console players and I actually I think uh, Rockstar locks all their games to 60 for, to 30 frames per second even on PC but I'm not sure not entirely sure on that but we have more coming next week Bounty Hunter Rolls Expansion. Yay. It says, and Bounty Hunters across Red Dead, on Red Dead Online. I cannot talk today. Man, we'll have an influx of fugitives to deal with as the Bounty Hunter role is enhanced with new criminals to track down and prestigious level equipment and skills to unlock across 10 more Bounty Hunter ranks. There will also be new legendary bounties and a 100 rank outlaw pass. And those new to the game can prepare for next week's big update by commencing the hunt to take down the Frontier's current crop of notorious reprobates. Uh, meet up with the legendary bounty hunter in the town of Rhodes to procure a bounty hunter license and get started. Now, the bounty hunter is my least favorite role. I'll be honest with you. It's fun. It's you know it's action packed, which they said was gonna come. I you know I guess, but it's very tedious lots of times. And to me, it seems like more of a grind than collecting. Well, maybe not collecting, but than a naturalist, than moonshiner. Definitely more than moonshiner. But it just it just seems very tedious lots of times. Because say you started in Blackwater, and then by the time you get the, the person, you're almost in Amberino, which is like not closer. It's just, it's again, it's just tedious for one person, or even if you do multiple bounties, tracking them all down, and just it, it's just not a very fun, necessary role to do by yourself. As I play lots, I play 95% of the time. I play Red Dead Online solo. So, and they're like the legend. I've never done a single legendary bounty. I've seen a lot of them. I've seen the Wolfman and others, um, and they seem fun, but again, they just seem tedious. And they pay out fairly decent. I'll be honest. They give you gold. They give you cash also. But it's just for this to be the DLC seems really underwhelming and disappointing. And I don't know why I'm not surprised because this is Rockstar and Red Dead Redemption. And they don't really seem to care about this game that much. But it continues. As an added bonus, as we mentioned before this week, all Bounty Hunter missions in Red Dead Online are paying double XP for some tips on how to become a successful bounty hunter, be sure to check out our entry in the game tip series here, which also features some strategies for excelling as either a trader or a collector, should you pursue those roles as well. So again, not to shit on the bounty hunter role, but in terms of like pay and ranking up and stuff like that, trader and collector are much better and moonshine. Like in terms of making money, like moonshine is top because it's, it's passive. You don't have to do anything other for other than go and like put your mash in and select the flavor and then sell it. Then trader, because well, honest, well, trader and collector are kind of the same because they're both kind of a grind. For trader, you have to collect animals constantly and refill it until it's full, and then you can sell it for like five hundred dollars uh, local, and then like over seven hundred uh, for a long distance sale. Collector. You can rank up very, very fast in collector, not just your collector role, but also your, your player role, and you can make a lot of decent money doing it. Um, 
they're but like I said, they're both a grind, but they can make good money in all three of those roles: moonshiner, trader, and collector. With bounty hunter, you don't make a lot of decent money, and you, for the bounty hunter rank system, you don't rank up very fast at all. So, for this to be the DLC, and for this to be the only thing they're telling us about the DLC that's coming out next week, if this is the only thing that the DLC is about, then that is very disappointing. What else could they give us in this DLC? Well, they could give us properties. That'd be great. That's what people have wanted for a long time. They could give us heists. That'd be great also. You know, they said that um, both Red Dead Online and GT Online were going to get fairly large. Um, I'm, and I'm not quoting it, you know, perfectly here. But I could have sworn they said that they were both going to get fairly large updates this December. GT Online is definitely getting a huge update with a map expansion. Red Dead Online is getting a Bounty Hunter role expansion. That's not a huge update to me. <laughs> now, they did mention, um, uh, you know, prestigious level equipment and skills to unlock across 10 more Bounty Hunter ranks. 10 more, and I, like I said before, it's not easy to, uh, to rank up the Bounty Hunter role, but 10 more ranks is not that much. But as for these prestigious level equipment and skills, I don't really know what they're going to be. Um, I don't really know what else you can do with the bounty hunter role, but apparently we're going to find out next Tuesday. So I don't know why I'm surprised. This is what Rockstar does to us. Um, they're constantly like getting us hooked to this game and attached and then like just giving us weak and poor updates. And again, I don't know why I'm surprised. I really shouldn't be. It's this should, this is nothing new. This is what Rockstar does for Red Dead Redemption, uh, for Red Dead Online. If it was GTA, I mean, not that the summer update for GTA was amazing, because it was it was very lackluster, very underwhelming. But that was because most likely they scrapped the cap, the cops and robbers DLC, and just gave us something. But it just really feels like, um, I don't know, that that Red Dead is the kind of the bastard child of Rockstar the best way to put it it's it's there they give us something to, to please us every now and then but gta is their their money their 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 money cow and that that's what they're going to keep milking and everybody keeps saying that and it's true and until they prove us wrong and actually do something for red dead online that's like amazing and yes the legendary animals were amazing for us but even still in comparison it's not the same so that is going to do it for this video, guys. I am actually recording this live over on Twitch. So if you would like to be part of the Twitch community, feel free to jump over to twitch.tv slash DJ underscore CE underscore S. Drop me a follow so you can join the chat and you can witness me. You can check me out live. You can be there live. You can be in the chat. You can be part of the streams. I would greatly appreciate that. I thank you guys for watching this video. If you are new here on YouTube, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop it a like. I would greatly appreciate that. Also, with all that said and done, guys, my name is DJCS. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to tip your DJ. Later, dudes.